Well, we really don't know that we won't be ready in April, but um, as Mr. Greenberg said in court, the amount of production of materials by the government is voluminous, probably 30, 40, 50 disks of materials. So what's that gonna, that, what, what that result in is us filing probably a number of pretrial motions, trying to exclude evidence, perhaps attacking the indictment, and maybe even addressing grand jury issues. So we need a lot of time to dig into those disks to determine what those motions are gonna be. And so all, at the one, on the one hand, we're trying to develop an overall strategy for all the cases, but we have to be responsive on each case to the judge's deadlines in that particular case. So it kind of makes things difficult from a logistical standpoint. So we're gonna ask Judge Lina Weber to reconsider the idea that there should be a set of conditions by which um, he could fashion a remedy that Mr. Kelly could be out on bond with obviously no danger to the community and there's no risk of flight here. Mr. Kelly is not going anywhere. If you saw Robert today, uh, he looks probably the best he's looked since this ordeal began. Um, I think when you're in solitary confinement, you know, it's not a Robert Kelly issue. It's, it's everybody who's in solitary confinement. We've dealt with this in a lot of other cases. The courts recognize, the experts recognize, it takes a huge psychological toll on people. So you can see kind of an unburdening of his spirit, the fact that he's now in general population.